What's up everyone? It's Shanice, aka Chana Irie, and I am back with another house video. So the video we've been waiting for, the video I've been promising, is finally here. It's the mailbox video. Woo! So I'm a little spirited. I just came from a baseball game. Of course, this says Ohio State, but it's fine. It's red, that's what matters. <laughs> but yeah, so since we were close well i had to drop my family's in town and i had to drop them off at their hotel so since that's close to my apartment which is right next to home depot i'm gonna go ahead run to home depot get the four by four post the quick creep i guess i'm gonna buy a post hole digger maybe some pavers for that area and mulch yeah yeah i'm gonna just go get it because i made a little extra money making a week for a client so I'm gonna use that money, get those items, and tomorrow is when you're going to see my mailbox get put in. So if you're excited, like I'm excited, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, you can see what I do on a daily at work, doing hair, or you can see what I'm doing with my house. So yes, I will see you at Home Depot. So we found post holder for thirty nine ninety eight. Another one for forty nine ninety eight, which is a no. So we get the Okay, I'm trying to get this out. Okay, I got these two tools to hopefully get the weeds and dig out the ground. Now I need to get the concrete and pavers. Found the pavers. So, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna stick with gray. I feel like it looks good. Black mulch, gray pavers, white mailbox. Yeah, 48 cent per paper. Wood. It's my wood. Biggest issue I'm having is this. These. So. I know I got a let down these seats, and there's a pull in the trunk. But I need to come down here. I'm just trying to protect my wood. It's getting wet. I'm getting wet. Sucks to suck. It is Sunday, August 28th. I have no power in my house. I am fully moved in. Everything's in the dining room. And I realized <clears throat> these new age gas stoves don't light if you don't have power. It's a gas stove. Like what? So had to take it old school. Well, I don't have the striped paper match. I hate those but had to take it somewhat old school and use a lighter to light the stove. So I'm trying to hurry up and make breakfast. It's 9.28 and my boyfriend comes at 10 to help me finally do the mailbox. So that is what this video is. We are putting up the mailbox, but I just had to let you know about the house owner woes about having no power. <laughs> they said it'll be back at nine. It's 9.30 and it ain't back yet. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to charge my phone in my car because how are we gonna record these videos without a charged phone? So yeah, I will see y'all when I'm bringing all the stuff outside to do my mailbox. Yeah, I gotta start one too. Okay, so Ian is here. The gardening gloves that I got fit him, say hey. And what the? <laughs> okay, sir. So, and I got these masks. And I have another pair of gloves. Here's the mailbox stuff, the numbers. And then in the garage. Okay. 
so excited, okay? But in the garage, we got the wooden posts. I had to pay for 10 foot of posts and have it cut down to six feet. So obviously this is a six foot and this is a four foot. And then I got my mulch. I got the paint rollers to use for the bathtub. Landscaping fabric for outlining the area. Ooh, that means I need to grab my weed spray as well. And then here we have the quick creep. Um, and then all the pavers are in the trunk of my car. So lots of stuff to take out, but we gonna make it happen. And then we can't open the garage door without power, but Ian's gonna figure out how to do it manually. Y'all know, I'm a girl from the city. I don't know this garage stuff, so he could do it. <laughs> don't break it now. Manual switch? I don't know. Ah. Yeah. I'm gonna start bringing the stuff outside. Switches, like horizontal, get stuck. Pull this, make it vertical. Ah. <laughs> Yay! We got the garage open. All right, so here Ian is using the two-sided hoe to pull out the rose bush that they had in there. Okay, y'all, so I broke my hose, trying to wash this off, but now I'm gonna figure out how to get the mailbox off the post. So let's get to it. Okay, so we realized we had to measure the six foot post. So Ian used a Sharpie and used the four foot post to mark off where four feet above ground would be. And then now he's trying to dig. And then I was getting vinegar soap and water to clean off the mailbox before I spray paint it. So yeah, let me show you Ian. While Ian was digging the hole, I decided to clean off the mailbox because I will be reusing this. I'm just gonna freshen it up. So yeah, you see me rinsing it off and cleaning off all the cobwebs. And now I'm going to help Ian dump all of this soil and dirt into a trash bag because we only had two buckets and one was for the quick crete. So we wanted to keep that one clean and so yeah. We're trying to dump this dirt and then I'm gonna help him with digging the hole. So I'm here trying to figure out why the post hole digger isn't going down and I noticed there are a whole bunch of rocks because where I live the ground is full of rocks. So Ian just went ahead and grabbed the whole weed whacker thing and just started using that to hammer out the rocks so that I can use the post hole digger to dig.
I was really, really invested in trying to contribute to this project because to me, this was the start of all my future home projects. So Ian was assisting me on how to knock out all of these giant rocks. Okay, so I did the first coat on the mailbox already. Looks really good. It's actually this print. So I'm just gonna spray it one more time because he is almost finished getting the hole done. And also, I'm gonna fill this bucket with water so we can pour the concrete and wet it. So now we are installing the six foot post and to help make sure we have it deep enough into the ground, we are going to take the four foot post and measure to it. So once the tops align, then we know it is far enough into the ground. And so with that, I'm going to put this post down and get the quick, quick, quick crete ready. So while I figured out how to open the quick crete, Ian was just making sure that the rod um, was level. And so I finally got this hard to open container open and we're gonna pull out the actual like quick crete mix that comes with two bags. And um, yeah, we're just gonna leave one bag in the container and take the other one out to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour some water into the hole, just enough to wet the ground. And then we're going to take the quick creep. I think we were hearing somebody, <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and take the quick creep and pour that directly on top of the wet soil. So that's what Ian is doing. And you're just gonna try to pour it evenly around the um, piece of wood. It was at this point that Ian realized it would be way more efficient to just pour all of the quick cream into the bucket and use the bucket to pour it around the plank. So here we are taking turns. I'm pouring the water and we're pouring the quick cream as well. I wanted a turn, so Ian gave me a turn. But yeah, we're just trying to make sure we mix everything properly so that the post is steady, you know, firm, will last years to come. And then we're filling it with the soil as well. So we're going to mix the soil and water to really have a really firm foundation. All right, so it's in the ground, it's flattened, it's level. It looks like it's the right height. Right, this is all our dirt, so yeah. Now we're going to spray this with weed spray, put down a little landscaping fabric, put the pavers I bought, and put mulch. Oh, and the post, of course. Yeah. All right, so before we could do all of that stuff, we need to widen the circular area for the mulch. So Ian is just starting with like digging up the weeds that are surrounding the post. And then I'm going to come in and use my little hoe thing <laughs> and pull up the weeds as well. Mm -hmm. 
And now I introduce Weed Killer, starring Ian. Now that we've had our momentary entertainment, <laughs> it is time for him to just finish spraying down the area. This is to help prevent re weeds from growing back where I put the fabric. And I can say like eight months later, nothing has grown there, but I also never laid the mulch. So <laughs> there goes that. But yes, Ian did a great job at that and it was very helpful. I got the weed control fabric and a knife. I feel like I want to just cut, because I don't have scissors right now, I just want to cut the section. So I just used this knife, cut the fabric, and just tore it by hand. It didn't need to be a perfect circle because we were just going to place it around the post. So Ian came to start grabbing the fabric, and then you're going to see us laying the fabric around the post in about four pieces. Step one, put the first part of the post down. Done. Now we gotta screw it in. Separating out the pieces. After separating all the pieces, we made sure that it was the right spot that Ian was drilling into. And I held the first part of the mailbox while he screwed it into the wooden post. After screwing in the first piece of the mailbox, the next step is to take the second piece and attach it on top. And I was having problems getting this aligned. Let me know down below if you've ever struggled with trying to get the mailbox piece on. I don't know if I had it turned the right way or the wrong way, but I just know that I struggled to get this thing on here. With Ian's help, I was finally able to get this piece on. This was really our little project and it was tiring, but I love that we got to do it together. Third part was this cute little package insert and y'all not gonna lie, eight months later, I did not use, this has not been used, but it was so cute. Got the metal piece, but we took it out, did it again, and now we're screwing it. In case you guys didn't notice, we got on different outfits, but this is actually day number two of doing the mailbox. The first day it was so hot and we were so tired. We spent like over an hour and a half on it and Ian had to leave. So he came back the next day after work and we are just trying to finish this project up.
right y'all so as you saw in the previous clips me and ian put up the mailbox and then i started putting out my pavers to prep the mulch and everything but i actually need more pavers so since i was turning in my key for my apartment if you want to see that video you know you can subscribe because that will come up next um since i was turning in the key for my apartment i decided to come ahead right here because home depot was in my apartment backyard over here is where my apartment was and home depot's right in front of me um i'm just yeah gonna be here at home depot and go get the papers so let's go do that so we can finish this mailbox off strong wow there's so many beautiful plants i love it these are pretty this is what i have already in my backyard i think actually Oh, they were indoor. Oh, these are like. Uh, here are my pavers. Forty-eight cents a block. So I need four more. Should have got a cart because these are heavy. All right, so this is the final product. Even though I went to the store, I never actually added the mulch or finished the circle of stones. But I hope you like my mailbox as much as I do. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.